Now you'll notice that I'm not using my cool wreath spinner thing and that's because I don't plan on spinning this art and making a mess. But Okay, so today, how about a, are we in camera? Yeah, a 12 by 12 landscape pour, my most favorite pours to do. Mm. Okay, depending on the size of your canvas, you'll need either just three small or three larger cups. These little cups that are like, I don't know, fruit cups or something, are about perfect for this size canvas. So you're gonna use three cups and one is going to be for the sky, one is gonna be for the middle ground, and one will be for the foreground. And I think I'm not going to do a beach pour today because that's what I've done the last few times and it was a lot of fun, but let's just try it with some different colors so we're not suggesting a beach. All right. Sometimes I'll put a base coat down, but not always. And the trick for me is to put enough paint on so you get a really nice flow of paint. Yes, you can waste a little paint that way, but you can also um, use it for other things like balloon kisses or uh, jewelry dipping or uh, lots of things. We're not going into that now. So what do we have? We need some sky. And skies don't have to be blue, but we're gonna start with the blue sky. Oh, these have been sitting for a while, so there's something in the tip here that needs removing. Let's see if that works. Yep, okay, so we have a sky starting with the blue. And adding some white. I don't like boring skies, so we need a little color. I don't know why I talk like that when I pour paint. I don't like boring seats. It's crazy. I don't talk like that ever anywhere else except for here. I'm going to stop it right now. And we're just going to get a little bit of orange in there. And some blue. Yeah, I had to check to make sure that was actually showing. Okay, white. Don't have any gold mixed up, or I would put some gold in. But I don't know it, so we're not gonna do it. How about a just a tiny, tiny touch of red or pink? And you'll know I'm not one of those people that show you the tube of paint and tell you the exact color to use for an exact result because that's not the way I like to paint. I don't mind watching other people do that. It teaches me a lot about different colors and stuff, but I just like to play with paint and see what happens. Okay, now we're in the middle ground. And one of the things that helps the, um, the end result turn out better is to have a contrast going between these two and this middle one. And I often use black for that. But today, I think I'll use black and green. Okay. And the green's really not dark enough to give me much of a contrast, so that's where the black will come in. accidents to happen and so I'm going to add just a little bit of black that has silicon in it to create a few cells. See what happens there. And I'm going to go back to the green. After a while you'll get a, a, a feel for how full these cups need to be to um, get enough paint on these this size canvas or another size canvas if that's what you're working for but this is about right. And I want that contrast. Okay, what are we gonna do in the front? I think we're gonna go for like a, a meadowy, floral, I don't know, daffodils blooming in the spring kind of look. 
So we have yellow. I am really excited about being out of the house and away from the ice for a while and with my paints. So this is a happy day. And we could have a little bit of green in the uh, foreground with all the flowers, but again, I don't want it to uh, not contrast. Ooh, that's pretty in the cup. Not contrast with um, the middle ground. So, do we want a little bit of tiny, tiny, tiny bit of red or pink? Yes, we do. Well, that wasn't a tiny bit, but, but that's what happens. Um, hmm. I think I want a little bit of different color in the sky because that light blue is just kind of boring. And now I'm kind of looking to see if I have uh, an equal amount of paint. It's not totally necessary, but I found that helps cover the canvas. I probably am going to have some extra paint that's going to pour over the edges, but I don't care. Uh, this is an all paint, by the way. If you want to watch my video about how to mix paint, you'll discover that a majority of this is glue mix, uh, which is clear or white glue mixed with water, a little bit of Floetrol, and then there's a, a, a small amount of a heavy body paint in it, but we won't go there yet either. Okay, let's have some fun. Boy, I really am excited to get out of the house. That was cabin fever and I didn't even have it bad. Okay, so here is the sky mix. Let's just move these aside. Ready? There we go. I see other people doing this. I don't know if it helps or not, but I'm going to tap it down to see if we can loosen up the paint. Okay, that's fun. And, ooh, I almost put the floral thing in the middle, but here comes the middle ground. And here's our field of daffodils and whoa daffodils and whatever else see I really don't believe in playing it too careful because all these little accidents throwing paint around and splattering it is often what makes it for an exciting painting in the end so I think I better put some gloves on because one of the things that I don't do very often is put gloves on and then I regret it. So let's see. The other thing I don't do that a lot of really cool uh, pouring acrylic pouring paint artists do is a lot of them prepare the back of their canvas really well with tape and push pins and uh, means to um, keep it from the paint from making messes on the back of the canvas. I kind of like the paint messes. I think it feels like part of the artistic process to see those. So we're going to leave them. Are you ready? So I like to have enough paint Okay, I can see that this paint is not moving, and we don't want that. So we're going to give it something to move with so that we don't get these all pushed off to the side and nothing moving on that top part. That's just what I like to do. Okay, now that should work. Now it's moving. Ooh, this is fun. Look at that sky. Whoa, don't want to lose that, but I do want to get over the edge here. And I might lose it, or I might be able to bring it back. I had to get the paint off the edge there, but here comes the yellow again. That's a pretty green heel. And now, 
This is where decision making starts to happen. I really like that, and I really like that, and I really like that. So if I pour this all off the side to get rid of this white down here or up here, I'm gonna lose all that, and I don't want to. So I'm gonna go really careful here. And I'm going to um, add some blue here so I don't have to like try to make that off, go off to the side or off the side of the canvas. I might do that with a hair dryer. Oh my gosh, I really like this. So typically when something is forward, it's lighter and something's back, it's darker. So we're going to add to this illusion or whatever by bringing some yellow forward. And whoa. That was kind of fast to get to something I like, so that's what's slowing me down here. I don't know if I want to stop. Um, I think I want to take the hair dryer to this, but I also don't want to ruin it. But if you don't take a chance, you might not get to the next thing that is really cool. So I'm not gonna go too far with this one, but I think I've said that before and gone the opposite direction. and ran like crazy in a wrong direction and ruined something, but I don't think that's going to happen. And if it does, it's only paint. Wow, oh, this is cool. All right, hair dryer. I do have too much paint on this to leave it. Um, so I've got to make either a decision to uh, pour it off or uh, tilt it off or blow it off or take it off in some other way. There are some other tricks you can do, like... go a little too far but I got some of the paint off which was necessary and I need to I can see that I just really need to get some more off so at the risk of ruining everything that I love about this or have loved about it to uh, to date or to the minute I'm gonna have to risk ruining because I have to get some of this paint off well here comes that sunny sky all the way across the canvas, which is a bonus. We're gonna to try to make that keep moving, keep moving. Oh gosh, I have got to stop except for taking the tweezers to something here and maybe the heat gun because it rarely happens that I like something this quickly. But I do. And so I am just not gonna take a chance on ruining it, or any more chance. I already took several chances, but okay. Heat gun to um, maybe bring up some sales. Maybe pop some bubbles. 
Oh, I love that sky. I think what to do is nothing. I've been here before so many times. So I'm touching up the sides. Now I'm going to go prepare. Um, ooh, I don't know what's happening there. I think that's a silicon. And I think it might end up kind of ruining what I've got going there. So we're going to see if we can take some of it off. Nope. Just maybe we'll just have to take a chance that it's going to make it even better. So now I'm preparing a um, drawing spot on the floor across the studio because I don't have a lot of level. Oh, what is happening with those drops? Do I like it? Not really. Huh. Okay, I just got to stop because I really like this. I really like that. I would have really liked that. Maybe I just, maybe do I want to do something? I don't know. I think I'm going to do it. All right. If you're not happy with something, why are you just going to live with it? Take a chance. All right, here we go. All right, stop. Goodbye, goodbye. We're back to preparing a level spot. Oh, jeez, please. That is not working. Just don't like those. All right, just stop. Stop, 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 stop. Well, you know what? Another lesson I've learned is to just take the learning into the next piece 
And you don't have to keep fiddling with the piece that, oh, I just want to take a little bit more fiddle with this. Just one little more fiddle. It might be the death of it. rid of one spot I didn't like and I created another one that I don't like so can we fix it I think I need to pay attention to my own advice and get away from this. Yes. All right. We're not touching it. I want to touch it. I am going to touch it. I can't help myself. Okay, I did it off camera and it's okay. I um, used the brush to smooth out some of those pot marking thingies. Thank you.